In other news, in Egypt, with police firing tear gas to disperse anti-Mubarak protesters after the former president was found not guilty, a court has dismissed his murder charges in connection with the killing of hundreds of protesters, over 800 of them, in the 2011 Arab Spring-inspired uprising. CCTV's Adel El Marouki is in Cairo, where pro-Mubarak supporters also rallied to cheer on the verdict. As soon as the court dismissed all charges filed against former President Hosni Mubarak, security forces locked down Tahrir Square in downtown Cairo. At first, a few youth protesters who participated in the January 25, 2011 uprising, which toppled the former president, showed up. They were disappointed by Saturday's court decision to drop all charges against Mubarak in connection with the deaths of 239 demonstrators during that protest. By night, their numbers multiplied. We are back here to revive the revolutionary powers of the old times. The 25 of January revolution was stolen from us. We'll get it back. It's been a long time since similar numbers of opposition gathered here, right next to the iconic square. A moment many wanted to capture on their cameras. I am very excited because I missed participating in the first January 25th protests, but my friends and brothers were killed in it. When I heard that Mubarak got innocent, I was shocked. Everyone has forgotten their political background, whether leftist or the Muslim Brotherhood. All streams are chanting together, down with Hosni Mubarak. That was true, but not for long. Muslim Brotherhood members showed up flashing their hand sign, a symbol for the hundreds of Brotherhood supporters who were killed in August 2013 when security forces cleared two protest camps. A witness told CCTV he saw someone among the protesters throw a device near the army troops. An explosion was heard, then police fired warning shots and tear gas. Security forces have quickly intervened to push protesters away from the Tahrir Square. It's by far the largest number of protesters have gathered in one place since the 15 months ago. They succeeded when the Muslim Brotherhood failed to gather masses that make this According to the Egyptian law, protesters must get approval before their demonstrations, yet the government made an exception allowing them to stay for several hours. Since July of last year, Egypt has cracked down on Muslim Brotherhood supporters, arresting thousands and sentencing hundreds to death. This has dampened enthusiasm for the kind of mass rallies that helped remove President Mubarak in 2011 and Islamist President Mohamed Morsi last year. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.